Two men accused of opening fire on a woman at North Park Center during a botched carjacking are in jail this morning. CBS 11's Robbie Owens live at the Dallas County Jail with more on the arrest. Robbie? Well, both men have been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. As of last check, bond has not been set, but police believe that 28-year-old Damon Stewart was the gunman in the carjacking gone wrong. They say that he was the one that approached Mary Boyd while she sat waiting to pick up her daughter from a movie at North Park Center back in May. According to detectives, when Seward demanded that she get out of her truck, instead, Boyd tried to drive away. And that's when police say the gunman opened fire, hitting her in the face. It was a high-profile crime, one that doesn't happen often at North Park Center, so it got lots of media attention. And with that media attention, cash offers for information. And that ultimately was the break that detectives needed. We did get to, we did get what we believe were reliable tips through Crime Stoppers, and of course, Crime Stoppers and North Park Mall had posted a fifty thousand dollar reward for the arrest. Now, along with Seward, police believe that the man that was his accomplice was twenty two year old Anton Wallace. He too was taken into custody, and his Dodge Ram pickup truck was seized. They believe that that was the getaway car. Both men taken into custody without incident at a house in Far East Dallas on Monday. Reporting live at the Dallas County Jail, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. After weeks with this composite sketch as the best description of the shooter, Dallas police have made an arrest in the North Park Center shooting case. Now, as we first reported last night at 10, Damon Stewart and Anton Wallace were arrested and charged in the case. And tonight we're learning more about how police found them. CBS 11's Brooke Ritchie is live at North Park with more on this developing story. Brooke? And Karen, police say their trail was starting to grow cold until a Crime Stoppers tip and two witnesses led them to their suspects. Police believe 18-year-old Damon Stewart and 22-year-old Anton Wallace were trying to commit a carjacking the night of May 16th. Instead, authorities say Stewart shot 43-year-old Mary Boyd. These two men, you know, here's a woman sitting in her truck waiting for her daughter to come out from a movie. And out of nowhere, subject comes up, she recognizes danger, and he shoots her in the face. You know, that, that's, that's, that's cold-hearted. So obviously we are very pleased to get them off the street. Stewart and Wallace were arrested Monday in Far East Dallas. According to a police affidavit, investigators first heard their names on June 30th with an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers. On July 6th, two witnesses gave the same names to police. One witness said Wallace called him after the shooting and said, Yeah, man, we had to do it. We needed to get some money. Later that night, the same witness says Stewart told him that they saw Boyd sitting alone in her truck. The affidavit reads, Suspect Stewart got out of the suspect vehicle with a gun and walked to the complainant's truck. He stated to witness that he tried to open the driver door, but it was locked. When the complainant saw him, she looked down and to the right. He told witness that he was afraid she was searching for a gun. At that moment, suspect Stewart shot the complainant. Police say the news of the arrest was a relief to the Boyd family. Her family is obviously very pleased that these uh, suspects are off the street and cannot hurt anyone else. And Boyd required reconstructive surgery after the shooting. She has since been released from the hospital. We're live at North Park Center, Brooke Ritchie, CBS 11 News. Fifty years in prison. That's the sentence for a man convicted of shooting a woman in the face at North Park Center. Today, jurors heard emo emotional testimony from the victim's daughter before they reached a decision. Here's CBS 11's Selena Hernandez. With a tear-soaked face and emotion-laced voice, 16-year-old Anna Boyd told jurors about the night her mother was shot. And I saw her truck over there, and I walked over to it, and I just remember, I just started screaming, and I didn't know what to do. Prosecutors looking for a life sentence for 29-year-old Damon Stewart called on Anna to paint the horrific picture of the night Mary Boyd was attacked in the parking lot of North Park Center. It's just 
having to see her. I didn't even, I didn't want to look at her, but I did. But it just wasn't her. In an effort to solidify the prosecution's case for stiff punishment, another of Stewart's victims took the stand. Stewart was just 15 when he robbed this Texarkana man. All the while, Stewart sat stoic in the courtroom. But it was perhaps the emotional testimony from Anna. I didn't know if she was alive. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to think that helped jurors reach a decision, one that will have stewards spending the next 50 years behind bars. Selena Hernandez, CBS 11 News. Jurors also heard from the mother of Stewart's child who testified he isn't capable of such a crime. The 